Hi folks, I'm just checking that we're live on Facebook at 7 o'clock. It's Wednesday, it's January 22nd and we're here. Hi. I'm going to talk to you about Clever Cream today. Um, I'm Wendy, in case you haven't picked that up already. I uh, own Dogs of Pride and I'm the creator of the Finessium product. And we're going to talk about the Clever Cream, which we were talking about the Smart Oil last week. Well, Smart Oil is a very key ingredient in our Clever Cream. Um, it's a nice little topical that you can use on skin, dry skin, flaky skin, scabby skin, um, wounds, anything like that to help with moisturizing and um, just making it all feel better. Actually helps a bit with itchiness. I've used it on bug bites. I've used it on sunburn. I like using the colloidal straight on the sunburn, but um, you can use this anyway. I actually use it as a face cream. Um, yeah, I don't look 84, do I? Uh, anywho, um, basically it's in two sizes. We have a little two ounce tub and we also have a 16 ounce tub, big heavy duty boy with a pump top that comes with it so that it's very handy for the horsey people or any um, animals that you have that you like to use it on um, with the pump on it and then you're not putting dirty fingers into the tub which will just contaminate your product so we did that um, it lasts a long time it spreads very well so it goes on a lot um, show you color of it that's what the color looked like there's obviously my open pot that I use all the time and even just as a really nice hand cream um, a lot goes a long way so and it absorbs nicely we have a doctor of osteopathy and I think she's got a lot more accreditations to her name than that as well. But she uses this as her main massage cream in her clinic in Scotland. So if you're ever in uh, St Andrews area and uh, you're looking for Dr. Heather Lang, she is a great advocate for our Clever Cream. Um, she uses it on her two-legged patients for her osteopathy treatments and massage. And she also uses it on her horses. So we use this a lot on the horses here too. Um, it's nice just on bug bites, on scratches and scrapes and stuff that they've had out on the field or rolling or whatever. Um, and it's, it's just even nice to work in. So if you're actually working like stiff joints, if you're doing their horse yoga or doing leg stretches and stuff like that as well, um, any sort of stiffness or swelling or anything like that, it can actually help with that too. Um, if anything else, just relieve it. Um, obviously we can't make claims, I'm not going to cure everything else. Um, we can't say that, as you know. Um, but lots and lots of things have been used. I've used it on my guy, my old guy had um, uh, something going on the inside of his ear. Um, some people call it sarcoids. Basically it looks like crusty, nasty scabs. And it was the, I'm going to say the middle of May when I noticed he had this just on one ear, not the other. And so I thought, oh, what can I do with that? I thought, oh, let's try the Clever Cream on it. No idea whether it would do anything or not, but no, it won't hurt. So I gobbed it the inside of his ear, just rubbed it in a little bit and left it. And because um, I noticed that it had all sort of cracked open a little bit and everything else from a couple of days before when I noticed it and of course hadn't done anything. Bad Wendy. Um, and I came down about two days later because of course I never practice what I preach and apply it every day and uh, had a look at his ear and it was looking a lot better. Um, put it this way, it wasn't crusty and open and cracking with blood around it, which was a good thing. So I thought, all right, I'll have another go with this. Gobbed a bit more on. Um, remembered again to look at it about four or five days later and it had pretty much gone. And to this day, knock on wood, hopefully the dogs won't bark, um, basically his ear is clear so his ear is absolutely fine and yes if you need evidence of that I can take you a photo of it but it's taking a photo of it now and of course I wasn't smart enough to take a photo of it when it happened because I never give my own products any credit for doing all the stuff that they're doing but the best thing I can suggest is go onto our Facebook page search on the Clever Cream and have a look at what people are saying about it. Um, I love how it absorbs. Oh, something else I've used it on recently as well. Lizzie Standard Poodle um, had a sort of weird looking area. 
it was a little bit scabby, it was a little bit red and inflamed. Might have been a hot spot that had dried up a little bit. But I thought, well, I'll just put some of that on it anyway. And I put it on and I was good this time. I did it every day. And I think it was three applications, maybe four. And that's all cleared up now. The only thing I have found is the little bit of staining around the hair. But that could even be from her licking it before I even got to it. The nice thing about it was though, is that I didn't have to shave that area. A lot of times if you're trying to get right close to the skin with a product, you have to shave it first, but it actually keeps everything nice and soft. It'll actually absorb into the hair as well and keep that soft and actually help it from tangling, which a lot of times you'll get a lot of hair around a nasty area will get all tangled and, and knotted up together. So it actually was really easy for me to put the cream on I'm using here as an example, I don't know why it wasn't there, but I put it on there and then I was able to actually with a fine um, tooth comb, just lightly pick through it each day so that I can actually then see to the skin without having to shave that bald and then have a patch that's always going to be shorter until the whole coat grows in again. So there's a benefit for that one. Plus obviously as well, if you've got a double coated breed like a big hairy German Shepherd or Newfoundland or something like that, that you don't want to shave bald spots on obviously. Um, that's gonna actually go, go just separate the, the hair as well as you can rub it in walk away come back and check it the next day and put another bit on if you want to so lots and lots of things that can be used for um, the little pots you'll see that we do have our sort of traditional finessium little icons on that but the new ones for the small will not have the cat on it uh, we did put on our literature not to use on cats but a lot of people don't read anything and so they thought, oh, I'll put it in my cat. It's not gonna hurt them, but we always wanna err on the side of caution when it's something that you're putting onto the, the coat or onto the skin that they're going to lick off. Um, but there's, there's nothing in here that's harmful that we know of, but cats are finicky and you know they can't talk. So you'll notice on the big tubs as well, we just have the horse and the dog icon on that. Um, things to know about this, we're very, very careful as to what the quality of ingredients are that we use in our products. So any of our uh, raw ingredients, we also want to make sure that we have all of the documentation from our suppliers to show that they are safe and clean, that they haven't been nastily extracted, that they aren't coming from um, unsustainable forestry or something like that. We're not burning rainforests because you'll find as well there's no palm oil in this. We like the orangutans. We like them to have their, their own home. Um, it's fragrance free as well, gluten free, paraben free, GMO free, palm free, phthalate free, cruelty free. So it's free of a lot of things. We don't put any dyes in it either. There's lots of other things we don't do. The reason why would we say it's gluten free? Well, put it this way, your skin is your largest organ of the body. So basically, even if that's going onto a scratch or a cut, that scratch is a damaged part of the skin. So therefore, anything you're putting onto that has a good good chance of getting into the bloodstream. So if you have um, an animal that actually cannot be on grains or has a wheat allergy, or even people that are using this with gluten allergies or anything like that, there's none in it, so you're safe with that. Um, there is a little bit of beeswax in it. Um, we do have obviously the uh, colloidal in it as well. We have the smart oil mixture in it, and then we have other um, of the from the base ingredients. Uh, to go through it, a lot of it is in the proper speak, so you'll find a lot of it is in the, the proper, um, I can't think of the actual uh, nomenclature or whatever it's called, uh, of actually the real proper names and as such for the uh, essential oils, plant extracts, seeds, um, that kind of thing. So there is a little bit of beeswax, so we can't say that it's vegan. Um, some people aren't worried, but uh, uh, other people are, and it always depends as well as to where the bees come from, where are they nastily farmed, and things like that as well, because there is ethically farming, uh, eth ethical, ethically farmed bees as well as non-ethically farmed bees. Um, we source all of our beeswax from a local supplier here who has his own happy bees. Um, we have lovely, lovely um, 
honey producers in the, in the valley here in wonderful Nova Scotia um, are very lucky to have a lot of things right at our disposal. So we actually get the beeswax from him and that's also used in our balm that we'll, we'll uh, talk about next week. Uh, another thing with the large pot as well, it is actually um, labeled bilingually. So yes, uh, everybody is happy with this as well if it's going to Quebec. Our little pots, actually we have just redesigned the labels for these just to take off the cat, number one, and to bring in all of the um, bilingual labeling, so it's in English and French. So those will be coming along once we have depleted our supply of these and we actually don't have too far to go. Um, thank you everyone for your support on this that is loving it, that is sharing it, that is trying it, that is recommending it, and that is telling us all of the good things they like about it. Um, the only other thing that I need to say on it is that it is part of the Financium product, so 10% of all sales go to our uh, rescues. So any of the rescues that we support, we our, our main one that we support is Rocking Horse Ranch in Bedeck, and even if we are selling at wholesale, we take 10% off of our wholesale sales as well. So that means that you can actually get on both ends, the retailer at their end can take 10% if they want to use towards uh, animal rescue that's local to them because we have some um, retailers, actually a few retailers in Ontario. Uh, we have one now in Newfoundland, one in Cal Calgary, and uh, yeah, we're, we're slowly growing. Oh, in Ireland as well. Um, so we basically have uh, the option there for our retailers to give 10% back to their local rescues. But we know as well that at source, we've always taken that 10% off too. So it's not just something that's stuck on a label that you don't know where anybody has actually done that. So that's explaining that to you as well because we love to tell everyone everything that we do. And um, more for the fact that we're full disclosure, we have nothing to hide and we don't like hiding things. We like you to know as well that we are above board Everything we're doing is for actually the protection, safety, health, and well-being of your animals. And you too, if you're using the Clever Cream on yourself. So that was just a nice little quickie today. And uh, I'll let you go and do your thing. If you have any questions, you can always give me a holler. You can also buy all of the products um, directly on our website at www.dogsofpride.com. And until next week, folks, that's it for me. Bye.